Oh, you, hello, YouTube. This is Albert Hobson here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about faith and about, about faith and logic. Faith and logic do not mix. Um, yeah, that's that's my that's my sub that's my subject. Faith and logic do not mix. Okay, first let's define logic. The study, the logic is the study of principles. Of reasoning, especially the uh, the uh, structure of positions and distinguish from the context and method of the uh, in method in velocity in um I mean let me pronounce that that word right validity in uh, deductible reasoning. No, the word, the word, but vanility, is an is an uh, adjective. Hmm. Did I did I pronounce that right? Vanility. Hmm. Anyway, um, vanil vanility. Okay, vanilla. Vanity. Yeah. Hard word to pronounce. Um, that this word means, uh. Uh, one is um this word, word means reasonable and justifiable in circumstances. Logic is like, and then um number two, second the second definition I found in this word producing the desired results. And number three, having legal force or effective binding. Okay, for example, a unbeliever binds the facts that if they can't touch, feel, or see God, they won't, like, believe. Most people desire to see God, but if they don't, they won't believe until they see Him. Some people want results. <clears throat> like, they say that they want to feel them, they want to touch Him in order for them to believe Him. To me, that's just, that's like, how in the world, like, which, that's just logic. Okay? That's logic. Then the second thing about logic is theory. Theory? What is theory? Now, let's uh, talk about theory for a second, because this is all under logic. Theory. <laughs> Um, theory is the body of rules, ideas, principles, and techniques that apply to a subject, especially when seen as um, uh, distant from um, actual from actual practice. Then the second definition of um, theory is an idea or, or belief about something that that arrived through a spectation. Uh, Now, spectator's taste, uh, being a spectator, like, again, logic is seeing, right? Yeah, when you, when you spectate something, like, you know, people, they talk about the Big Bang, spectators, they watch, and they look in space, and they, and they try to figure out, try to figure out, and logic, um, this, um, I'm just saying, um, Logic. Then this theory, all of this theory is, yeah, theory is on the logic, and um, then um, uh, yeah, then then number three, the third definition in theory, it it's a set of facts, positions, and principles analyzed in their relation to one another. Used especially in science to to explain a from a phenomena. Now logic and theory, when like that's why I say faith and logic do the mix because logic is like when you 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 depend on you depend you're depending on what you're seeing. I don't make this video long, so let me hurry up. <coughs> now let's define faith. Y'all know what I'm going to say, so I'm just going to say it anyway. Uh, faith 
is the condition of truth without the tangible proof. The Bible says that faith is substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. See, faith is believing well seen. That's you can find that in he, in Hebrews eleven verse one. To faith to have faith is to believe that God's word is is before and comes to pass. The acronym for the word faith, which is is for sec is for second all I trust I, I trust him. How can we uh how how can we um how can we um okay, this bug right here this mosquito this this came in here out, out of nowhere how can we um how can we get faith so okay faith comes from um come come up by hearing the word of God when you hear the word of God you we obtain faith. Faith is believing without seeing. We have faith, like faith. Then, and then a a, um, a definition for faith is belief, in dedication to trust somebody or something, especially without logical proof. Now you see why logic and faith do, do that mix together, or, or work together. Logic is seeing, is believing. Faith is believing without seeing. Two different aspects, two different subjects. So, when you say Christian logic, there is no uh, logic. There is no logic to us, but we have faith. That's what we believe, and in God we cannot see. In anyway, the Bible even tells us, if we were even to see God, we would die because. I I probably think um God's if you were if if God was to come down here we 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 wouldn't be able to look at him because we would probably be our minds probably couldn't handle what what God what might this look like because the Bible says we are made in His image so God He has a body He has hands He has fingers He has He has a face then it's also said He has eyes of fire. No, Jesus had Jesus. Jesus is the one with the eyes of fire. He has the eyes of fire. Can you imagine looking to looking to someone's eyes? Then they have eyes of fire. Then from knowing God, he and God, he's probably he's probably gigantic. So our minds couldn't fathom. I I he was a giant, you know. So I don't know so why unbelievers and atheists. I don't know why they 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 want to see God, but um, which is really really um weird to me why they want to see God, but in order, in order for them to believe, but so this is Albert Hobson. I try to make this video nice and short, but peace out. And and re remember, without faith you cannot please God. And faith is very important. So if you want to be a believer, you must have faith. Even though things you might not be be able to feel them or see them, he's there. God is there. God is real. So peace out, you. P peace out.